Now we're going to put this keystone jack on, which is also shielded. Get this other stuff out of the way. So this is has a this has a metal shell around it, as you can see. And uh, this bit right here is for putting the drain cable on. It's also going to be clamped around the the cable. And then the drain, there's a little clip in there that the drain is just going to go in. So we have this dust cover for it, which is the shielded dust cover. It also has these standard little plastic ones that's on every keystone jack. On the side we have the uh, the B pattern and the A pattern. The uh, A pattern is on the top, B patterns are on the bottom, right there. But since we made the mod plug of the B pattern, we're also going to do this with the B pattern. Otherwise, it would be a crossover cable. So once again, we have our shielding on this side that I just cut off some aluminum tin foil and then an extra layer of uh, plastic protection here kind of makes it look like a spring roll and we're just going to cut that off as well I'm just going to keep the drain out of the way for now. And the the pattern on here, it's it's a universal pattern, the B pattern, but the way that it's configured on this keystone jack might be different than other keystone jacks. Uh, but this one it's going to be orange and green and brown and blue. <laughs> So it's always a good idea to get the jacket as close to the to the jack as, as you can, the, the cable jacket. Uh, it just looks cleaner. It looks nice. You have less chance of, uh, well, especially since this is shielded, you want to be able to keep the shielding on as much of the cable as you can, not have exposed wire. I'm going to use my punch down tool here. So now that I have it all punched down in the B pattern, as close to the jack as I can get, I'm going to take the drain, slide it underneath here, and try to catch the little hook that's on the bottom. So I'm going to catch that so it can drain. And I want to keep it close to the jack. Snip off this excess. We have the drain there, and then I 
wrapped it underneath the cable and you can see it kind of you can see it kind of slides through this little little hook here. I'm just going to crimp it down onto the cable. And this is where the drain attaches, but it also provides some stability to the cable. Um, being attached to the jack. You can see it gives it some support back there. And then first I'm going to put on these dust covers. And then finally my shielding cover. I'm just going to slide on top. It's always a little bit more effort with shielded cable, but it's that much more peace of mind that your cable will be performing up to its potential without any kind of crosstalk or electromagnetic interference. So here's where I attached the grounding to the jack, the ground wire to the jack. Um, it slid right through, there's a little tooth that it just went through and it clamps onto it, clamped it on with my pliers here and just not too much, you don't want to damage the cable, just make it nice and snug and therefore now, now it's grounded. So these shielded jacks come with the tiniest zip tie in the world and you take it and wrap it around the grounding, the grounding area, just to hold it in space, in its place, just to hold it in its place, and double make sure that everything is secure. And with this as well, not too tight, just snug, so it's not going to go anywhere. If you get too tight on the cable, you could damage it. And just snip off the end there. Look at that. Look at that. There we have it, completely shielded from end to end with a shielded keystone jack. And it does fit into a standard wall plate, same way any other one would. Just slide it in, and it pops right in. And it looks pretty cool. And shielded mod plug. This is David from CableSupply.com and we just learned how to terminate shielded cable onto a jack and a mod plug. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out our other videos on YouTube and like us on Facebook. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this YouTube installment of CableSupply.com.